All right, welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, I want to just show off how you can make uh, live events. Uh, this was a fan request, so um, yes, that's that's what happened. So let me just set up a little here. So uh, in my case, I'm just gonna have it. So basically, um, I'm not gonna script events because that's sort of besides the point, but I'll show you how to make it happen, you know? So yeah. All right, so I'm gonna call this main GUI in here. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is create a text label. Um, so now this is sort of a label in here. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is say, um, so let's say that like a certain, we want to have, um, <laughs> so hard to explain. I'm gonna have a, in this case, I'm gonna have a string value. And this value is going to be called game state. So let's guess. Let's say you're making like a mini games game or something like that. So game state is going to sort of be a string that defines that. And I'll call this uh, main server. And then I'll say I'll also create a remote event for later called um, send text. And then with that. Um, go ahead and define some things. So first of all, replicated storage equals game get service, uh, replicated storage, just like that. Storage. Cool. And then after that, what we're going to go ahead and do is basically have a while loop. And you might want to actually do this as a module script. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is set up a module script to basically handle um, the different events. So I'm going to say a local, um, I'll say remotes here, I'll say modules here, I'll say local module equals require um, script dot module script. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is say module equals that. And we'll say module dot um, um, all right, so module dot, uh, <laughs> how do we do this? Um, what I'm going to do in this case, well, let me define the, um, although we might actually want to define that in the module script. So basically what I'm going to go ahead and do is say while true do, I'm going to do, um, so module dot, um, game loop. So this is going to be the main loop for the game. Um, module dot game loop equals function like that, and then I will say. Um, actually, you're probably going to want to have the okay. So module dot game loop, and then here I will say a while true do, and then I will say. And also say, I wonder if I can do cast out spawn on that. I wonder if that'll be okay. You know, I could probably, we'll see if I can do that without the cast out spawn actually. I'm trying to remember exactly how modules work. Um, so basically what we're gonna do is define the, I'll pass in the, so we'll get the local, um, I'll say local game state equals replicated storage wait for child game state. Uh, just like that. And then, oh, didn't mean to do that. Okay. And then, uh, let me just make the formatting the same for everything. Okay, so I'm going to pass uh, into here the game state. So game state. And I'll just put dot value so I don't have to do that. <coughs> okay. Incredible. All right. So game state is passed into here. And now what I'm going to go ahead and do is say if game state is equal to intermission, then what we want to do is say, um, um, uh, while true do. Um, 
and then I'll say local also define some things up here so local intermission time equals and then I'll say 10 seconds and I'll say while um, so in here I'll say local time left and then I'll say um, time left oh well no I can just define them okay so intermission time so it equals that and we're gonna say while true do um, then we're going to send over some information so let me actually define um, send text I'll just define it here alright so I'm gonna go and define some services up here and then I'll say uh, we'll add the this and then I'll set that to what am I doing? Okay, remotes. And then I'll say local send text event equals replicated storage. Wait for child. Uh, send text, just like that. And then I will say send text event colon fire all clients. And then I will go ahead and do. Um, I will send the time left and then time left minus equals one which basically means it's subtracting one from it so yeah next we are going to basically well I should probably see if oh well I have to actually have a receiver so in the GUI I'm gonna create a local script and this is gonna be called um, main client and I will say um, local all have services. So local replicated storage equals game get service. Oops, excuse me. Kitchen. All right, get service. And I'll say replicated storage, and then I will define the remote event again. And so local send text event equals replicated storage. Wait for child send text. And I'll say te send text event dot on client event colon connect function, and then text, and then I will say um, I'll say local label equals script dot parent dot label, and then I will say label dot text equals text, and with that, let's see if we get some output here. Oh, wait, I never added weights to it. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I hope our game can... I mean, yeah, it's not going to mess up that badly. All right, I forgot to wait one second, which is sort of a big deal when you're doing something like this. So wait one, and that should prevent it from crashing, I believe. Right? Where else? Oh, we, we also have a wild true do loop right here. That shouldn't be a problem, I don't think. Maybe it is. Okay, so, um... Um, how do I fix this? Well, I could set it to... Yeah, by default, it should be intermission, I think. That makes sense. Or I could set it in a script, but I feel like this would maybe prevent it from... Alright, so here we go. Um, so it's counting down just like that. And then what we want to do from here... Um, okay, so yeah, we obviously don't want to keep doing that. So then we will say um, if... Uh, probably want to do that after the wait that makes more sense all right and I'll say if if time left if time left is less than or equal to zero then what we want to do is just break this while loop we're doing here and then um, we'll also before we do that we'll say game state um, 
you know, I'll just send the game state like that, so I can actually change things. So game state dot value. All right. So then I'll say game state dot value. Well, I guess I could just change it from that string. It doesn't matter. Either way you do it, you can just say game state, I believe. So if that happens, then the value should be in game. And then because of that, that should stop the printing before or right as it hits zero. And we should see it become in game now. Let's see. Um. Uh oh, I think we have a, yeah. All right, so what's the issue here now? Uh, it's not, well, did it change the value? It didn't seem to change. Okay, it changed the value, but uh, yeah, we don't have anything doing it. So you might want to add like a weight um, in here maybe, but uh, I mean, once this is done, there's not going to be any problems with that. So else if game state dot value is equal to in game, then we want to basically do a random event. So what I'm going to do is say, um, uh, what do I do here? So I'm going to say local, okay, so I'm going to select a random event first. So to do that, I'm basically going to define the events up here. So module dot events equals and then I'll make a table. And basically in here we'll have a bunch of functions. So I'll say um, local function. Um, so function, and then we'll say, um, in this case, as I said, we're just gonna make it so the label changes no i'm gonna actually add something so i'll like add a part so i'm gonna call this add part and then what we're gonna go ahead and do and i don't know why this is um don't know why that's an issue hello um Local function. Why is this an issue? I don't understand. Um, all right, so I guess we can just do function like that. I don't know why we can't give it a name. Okay, now we can. Okay, uh, for some reason it doesn't like the word local in there though. So that's um, interesting. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is say local new part equals instance dot new part. This is just an example, as an example. And I'll say new part dot parent equals workspace, just like that. And that's pretty much the end of our function. And then we will say, uh, we'll create a new function, and then we'll say local, um, um, what do we do for this one? So I'll make a, we can make a part, we can make a um, spawn location, sure. So local new spawn location instance.new spawn location and then I'll say um, spawn location dot parent equals workspace again and then basically what I'm going to go ahead and do is say local random event equals uh, module dot events and I'll say um, math dot random one a number of module dot events and that should give us a random event I'll say random event um, like that and that should do the random event as far as I know 
and then what we're basically going to do is do a while true do. Um, so I'll say local time left equals. Um, okay, I'm going to define this up here. I don't know why I put it over there. Okay, so I'm going to say local game time equals 30. I don't know why I said that. Fuck okay. it. That way. Game time. And then I will say uh, while true do if time left is less than or equal to zero, then we will say game state dot value equals um, intermission. And then we will break out of this. And then we'll say um, send text event, um, fire all clients, and then we'll do, we'll give the time left as we did before, and then I'll say wait one, and I'll say time left is less than minus equals one. And also I'll just add in here um, in game as a second value, and then I'll say intermission here. So we could basically say um, game state and then text. So if game state is equal to intermission, then we will say label.text equals um, intermission. Uh, and then I'll say um, text. Um, seconds left and then I'll say else if uh, game state is equal to in game then we will say label dot text is equal to game is happening and then we'll give the text um, like that and then I'll say um, seconds left and that should be pretty much all the stuff we need to do so let's go ahead and join the game and see what it looks like. All right, so intermission, five seconds left. And then um, when this happens, we should have something up here. Okay, there's another spawn location. Um, no idea where it is, but it is here. Oh, apparently it's like... What? Okay, this is a spawn location that happens when you spawn it from a script. That's weird. But as you can see, it is here. And pretty much everything is working just as you expect it to. And we'll actually go ahead and wait for the intermission. Let me just move this spawn point out of the way just in case that affects it. Because it'll probably spawn where the spawn point would. Alright, so now we got a part. Cool. <laughs> or, it's, yeah, it's a part. So, yeah, with that... That is the end of the video. If you liked the video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel, as well as turning on post notifications to get notified whenever I upload a new video. And yes, I will see you next time. Goodbye.